What's up guys, it's your boy B here here, MTV Cribs Epics Edition. We got this sick refrigeration truck from Denise that we're turning into this cool tiny house. Here's our look at our final design, ba-bam! And now I'm gonna pass it off to my team members and we're gonna go take a look. Well thanks for that sick send off, B Hugh. Alright, so now we're inside the truck, this is where the magic happens, this is the living area at the front. Now remember, this is supposed to accommodate two people for two weeks. So back here, we got a full bath. That means it's got a shower, it's got a sink and toilet combo. So after a long day of rolling like a boss in your tiny house truck, you can go clean off and all that money saving that you're saving by living in this truck, you can go to your black tie events. Now right next to that, we have a washer dryer area. But maybe you're a hipster, you don't wash your clothes. You like to just go vintage all the time. You like that stink. So you can just pull those out. You don't even need them. You could use that as storage. Boom. All your floaties for that cool pool party you're going to, food, you name it. Now over on this side, this side, this is the kitchen. This is where all your gourmet action happens, right? So in the kitchen, we went with modular design. Simple. We got an inductive cooktop so people like you don't catch things on fire because we know how you are, right? And then we have all of the storage space for all of your gourmet foods like ramen. And then you have a nice full refrigerator, well, mini fridge, but you know what, you get the point. Put all your beer, soda in there, put all of your soda in there, 12 packs, holds everything, right? Now, a little bit farther back, we got a cabinet that houses all your kick ass movies, right? And then it's got a nice flat screen above it so you and your homies can chill after you've been gardening all day, because. Yeah, you know, that's what it's all about. Now over on this side, we have the piece de resistance. This is our modular couch from Italy. So you know that it is boss because it is Italian designed, right? So this thing unfolds after a long day into a bunk bed for you and a homie to catch some of those much needed Z's after you've been gardening like a champ. Now that we've covered the first front 60% of the truck, the living area, where the magic happens. I'm gonna send it off to my boy Dennis, who's our resident gardener around here, and he's gonna show you our garage. Thanks for the for the sick intro, Mikey Mike. Well over here we got the tools, and down here we got the, the little workbench. And under the workbench, we got that soil, you know, that good soil. And we got a little wheelbar wheelbarrow too. You know, when we rolling up all that money from all that hard work we got, and over here, we got the starters. Actually, no, they're down here. Yeah, right there. And over up here, we got them grow lights to help those grow, those starters grow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, all of this it seems like a lot. In you know, a small space, it's not that. It's not that small. But it's all easily accessible from back there. Now we're going outside. You know, where it's all hot and stuff. To Anna. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, so for the outside of the truck, we have all this extra room down here. So we're gonna shove some extra tools and dirt, um, and maybe a water tank or something. Um, since the inside so sick, we gotta make the outside equal. So we're gonna cover this side of the truck with lots of plants, um, sort of do some gardening on that, grow some food. Um, on the other side, we're gonna put an awesome shade structure that would double as solar panels to power this truck, um, so you save lots of extra money. And now we're going to go to Garrett to finish this all up. Alright, thanks team for that dope tour. I can't wait to see Denise use this new tiny house truck to go around the valley planting community gardens and helping out the cancer patients. Now, catch us on the next episode of MTV Cribs Epics Edition.